late 2015, Audi Australia locally launched what was, at the time, the most potent and capable of its TT sports car range, the 2016 Audi TTS Coupe, with heavier and slightly slower roads to version right in its wheel tracks. It wanted for $99,900 before on roads and, despite losing 18 kilowatts somewhere on the boat trip across the big pond, was deemed to be properly quick, offering tremendous grip, precise handling and solid sportiness despite being quite pricey and lacking a bit of comfort factor for everyday and long distance driving. That was my summation, at least of the S4 Extra Sportiness version using the regular ET stock as points of reference. Then I got to drive the stove hot TT RS at its international launch a few months back, the new king of TT due to arrive down under in 2017 at around $145,000, and it altered the viewpoint of middle rung TTS quite a bit. And not, one might presume, towards a more negative view. Is the TTRS $45,000 better than the TTS? Well it's, certainly nearly one second quicker to 100 km per hour, but, I'd wager that on a windy back road, the S would be nearly as quick as its much pricier RS stablemate, I wrote of the TTRS launch experience. While the RS has yet to set tire on local terra firm to test my theory, revisiting the TTS for a week, today doesn't nothing to sway my latest theory.